There are a lot of golf training aids out there that do promote speed. One of the things that would differentiate the impact snap with a lot of those other aids, and I'm not going to name them because uh, they do promote some speed, but the difficulty I have is that it's hard to control your wrist angles or pay attention to your wrist angles while you're generating the speed. So I see a lot of people warm up with something and they create speed, but their hands and arms end up going all over the place. The benefit of the impact snap is that you can create speed and have some control over your wrist angle so that you know that you're repeating the same form. If the ball misses, your hands and arms are all over. And again, just be careful when you're using other aids, have an awareness of what the wrists are actually doing through impact because we don't want to create speed with wrist angles that are all over because that means golf balls are flying all over. So with the impact snap, you can create some speed. I've had uh, another instructor from Nashville, uh, Ben Pelicani, puts a stick right under the impact snap so he creates some speed while still getting the ball to hit. Again, this, this would be the only aid that you can use at a high speed and still control the wrist angles through impact. So just watch yourself with other, with other training aids. Just make sure your wrists and arms aren't all over the place trying to create the speed.